Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Um, today I thought I would film a haul video. Over the last month I've purchased quite a few makeup um, and beauty products so I thought I'd share them with you. Um, so to start off with I was in America um, around last month time, last month, and um, I bought a couple of things while I was out there and um, yeah, well let's get on with it. Um, so the first thing that I bought when I was out there, um, it was when I was in LA, the first day that I arrived there, because I was staying with my sister as you saw in my um, travel videos, but the first day that we got there I went over to um, the mall there and went into Sephora and saw that they had the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow Pomade and I just couldn't help myself and I had to buy this. Um, so this is like my first purchase. Um, this is in the colour dark brown. I'm wearing it on my eyebrows right now um, and I absolutely love it. I think it's so nice. I think if you apply it really lightly then you can get like a really natural finish and then for those days when you want to go a little bit more um, out there a little bit more extreme then you can apply it a little bit heavier. Uh, the second thing I got was when I was in LA and the Sephora there. Actually did I get all three? Yeah I got all three things that I'm about to show you from LA at, in Sephora and I was looking for a new foundation um, and a primer and I'd seen these on YouTube before and I was like oh yeah maybe I should um, have a look and have a, have a go with them, check them out. So I got the um, Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation, um, but I do absolutely love it. If I'm going on a night out or I want my foundation to last all day, I'll definitely, definitely use this foundation. Um, I, I, it's amazing, I absolutely love it. And I got this in the shade, I think it's Biscuit, Biscuit Light. Um, yeah, it's really nice. It's got sort of like a yellow undertone to it, which is sort of my skin tone. So the other two things that I got in the store there, was the Kat Von D liquid lipstick. Um, I absolutely love this liquid lipstick. I've never ever tried anything from Kat Von D before. Um, and I purchased this and I was wearing it on my holiday. I've been wearing it since when I got back as well. Um, yeah, and I absolutely love it. This one is in the shade Love Sick. Um, they're so creamy, they last a long time. Um, the pigment's amazing on these as well. You don't have to like reapply it <clears throat> once you've initially put it on so yeah I absolutely love this I only got this one but I'd love to get loads more um, and I think I probably will so the next thing that I got in Sephora which I should have probably purchased a long time ago the Laura Mercier translucent powder <laughs> um yes so I got this um which I'm so happy about um I absolutely love it I think it's the best translucent powder I've ever ever tried and um, it lasts all day it really keeps you foundation or concealer, whatever you're using it for, um, in place all day. So I absolutely love it. I've been using it for, since I got back, or and while I was on a holiday as well. Um, so yeah, yeah. So on the way back from America, um, I got three items. Um, the first one I got, I've been researching it on YouTube and the internet. I've heard so, so much about it. It's the Guerlain Elor Face um, Primer. And I've heard so much about this, it's got like real gold stuff in it. Um, I've been using it, not every day, but the days I, I, I feel like I want a little bit more sparkle or if I'm going out or if I'm going to any nice events or anything like that, um, I've been using this. I absolutely love this, I've been using it for over a month. Um, so yeah, I really, really, really like this one. Next one I got at the airport was uh, Max Gold Deposit. Um, I don't have anything like this, I, I've just thought, well, I don't have anything like this, I, I, I love the shimmeriness, how can you not like the shimmeriness, um, everybody goes on about it, so I thought I'd purchase it as well. Um, the next thing that I got was the um, Lancome mascara, I didn't have a mascara at the time, I think I was using the um, L'Oreal telescopic mascara. Um, and I ran out of that one so I purchased this one on the way home and this has to be probably my favourite out of everything that I've shown so far. Um, it's amazing, it, it's, it's so good. Um, the thing that I love about this the most is that when you want to take your mascara off, rather than it smudging and producing like a big panda eyes or anything like that, it sort of just crumbles off. Um, it stays on the whole time that you've got it on, it doesn't crumble and fall onto your face, but it sort of comes off in like little 
loops of mascara <laughs> so it just makes it so much easier when you're taking it off so if you're taking it off with a face wipe or um, a makeup pad anything like that it's just so much easier to come off and it stays on all day so the first thing that I got um, what I, well actually I got two, I got two of their eyeshadow palettes um, and I think they're the two new ones as well um, so this one is oh it's so exciting um, this one is the um, Morphe 35OS palette and I think, is this the shimmery one? yes, um, and this is the shimmery palette, I th I'm sure it's the new one and um, so it looks like this um, I have dipped my finger into a few of them just to try them out just to feel what what they feel like and um, what the pigments like and I have to say that they're absolutely amazing the pigments amazing and um, they've got like a really creamy consistency which is really nice um, these these have to be the best eyeshadows that I've ever purchased um, there are 35 different eyeshadows in here and I'm so excited to start start using these, playing with these. I absolutely love like warm, brown, neutral tones. So um, so yeah, I'll keep you posted. If I do any looks with these, which, I'm, which I certainly will, I'll definitely let you know which ones I use. So um, yeah, so that's the first one that I got. And then of course you can't get a shimmery palette without a matte palette. So <laughs> I did go ahead and get the... So I did go ahead and get the matte palette as well. And um, this one is the Morphe 35OM. So I'm guessing the S stands for shimmery and the M stands for matte. Shiny, shimmery. Um, so yeah, so I got the um, matte palette as well, the corresponding one. So it pretty much has the same sort of warm, neutral tones in it as well, but it's the matte one. Yeah, I have to say that they're, they're amazing, I absolutely love absolutely love them so far so um, so they were the two palettes that I got from Morphe and then um, and then I got a, I decided I don't really have I, I do have brushes um, but I wanted to get some new ones try out some different ones so um, that's why I got all these brushes from Morphe um, I haven't used any of these brushes yet um, so I don't really know what they're like but from what I've heard and what I've um, watched on YouTube I know that these that more of these brushes are really good. They're referenced in like nearly all the videos that I watch, so I thought I'd give them a try. Yeah, so I'm really, really excited to start using them. I'll definitely let you know how I get on with them. I'm sure they'll be great though, because I've got such a good review. So, so yeah, I'm excited to try all of these products out from Morphe. Um, they look amazing, so I'm really, really excited to try them out. Um, they came in a really nice box, and then they sent me like a little Morphe card as well with it, so that was really nice. I thought that was a really nice touch as well. Um, so moving on to the next one, which I think I'm even more excited about. I think the the Morphe stuff was sort of I needed this stuff. I think it's a great. Um, I think I think what I got for the price was absolutely amazing. Um, the next one's just more exciting, like more creative and stuff. So the next one, the next thing that I got was a was um like loads of different eyeshadows and lipsticks from Colourpop from Colourpop and they spell it the right way as well so <laughs> um the next thing yeah so it was from Colourpop um how many eyeshadows did I get? I got eight sh eight eyeshadows um the Colourpop eyeshadows from them and um I haven't tried any of these out, but I've heard um, that they're absolutely amazing and I've swatched one of them. I just wanted to see what the pigment was like and the consistency and they're amazing, absolutely amazing. I don't know what the formula is in them, but they're like a really creamy, um, it has like a really creamy formula. So I'm really, really excited to use these. So the first eyeshadow that I got was the colour um, Shameless um, and this is like a sort of um, bluey, bluey black sort of colour. Um, it's got, it's, it's really, really glittery, um, and it's got like a sort of pink, pink, and it's got blue glitter in it. So that's sort of what gives it the, um, the blue, 
black sort of finish so I'm excited to use this one. The one that I got was um, Girly and this is sort of like a really light um, cream coloured eyeshadow and I just thought that this would be really great for like the inner corners of your eyes or if you wanted to do just like a really simple um, eyelid like creamy coloured shimmery eyelid. Um, so yeah, I thought that one was quite a necessity um, to buy. The next colour that I got was Blaze and this is sort of like a bronzy um, shimmery shade. Um, I just loved the colour of this and I, when, I think this was the one that I swatched and it was just, the pigment was just absolutely amazing, I, I, I couldn't believe it. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited to start using these. I um, got um, Coconut, which is just such an incredible colour. Um, it's like a really deep blue, really deep shimmery blue. Oh, and I'm just so excited to start using this one. The one I got was um, Amaze and this is sort of like a like a gold bronzy sort of, sort of colour and then the last colour I got was Hustle and this is sort of like a really um, deep burgundy coloured red eyeshadow red? burgundy, purpley sort of like a purpley colour um, and um, and yeah, I just really like this one. Like I said before, I absolutely love burgundy colours, uh, neutral colours. Moving on to the very, very last items that I purchased. And these are all, apart from one, liquid lipstick, liquid matte lipsticks. I just went crazy, I don't know why. I got nine, nine liquid lipsticks and then one um, ultra satin lip as well. I don't, um, so I'll just quickly go through them, um, the different colours that I got. So I'll start with the colour that I'm wearing right now, um, and this is Bad Habit. And this, I, I've previously tested this one. I've tested two out before um, doing this whole video. I couldn't wait. <laughs> and um, it, this one is Bad Habit. I absolutely love this colour. I don't really, I don't have anything like it, and I didn't think that I'd actually like this colour. Um, but when I tried it on, I really, really liked it. I thought it was such a beautiful shade. I hope the camera's doing it justice. Um, and it's like a really, really deep, um, ready, purpley coloured with lipstick. And yeah, this has to be my favourite, I think. This one's sort of like a nudey, um, like a nude colour with like a purple undertone to it. Um, and yeah, and this looks really nice. So I'm excited to try this one out. I also got Cheap Thrills, and this is like a really pink shade. Um, and the next one that I got was um, Stingray um, and this is actually really similar, not really similar but quite similar. This one's got more of a pink undertone and this one's got more of like a brown coloured undertone. Um, next one that I got, you'll see that I got loads and loads of like these nude coloured ones because that's my favourite. But uh, The next one that I got was Kapow um, and this one also has like sort of like a um, purpley undertone to it as well. Um, next one was Alyssa. So Alyssa is the ultra satin uh, liquid lipstick and Bianca's the matte one. Um, I haven't tried Alyssa but I've seen so much about it and I'm really really excited to try this one. Uh, the next one is um, more better and this is a really really pink one and then the last one is R&B and this one is just like a really pink pinky sort of um, browny undertony colour and I'm excited to try this one as well and then the last one the very very last one that I got um, was completely something that I would never ever buy um, but it just sort of took my attention I thought why not get something a little bit different try it out see what you can do with it and it is Dr M and it's this amazing green coloured liquid um, matte lipstick and I am so so excited to try it out. So yeah with, with that said that's the whole haul video done and so I really really hope you enjoyed this video. I'll definitely start using these products now that I've completed it and I'll definitely let you know how I get on. So thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!